Do you want to learn how to catch bees for free? Then watch this video. Hello, I'm Griffiths, welcome to Gwynny Griffith. Here we're talking everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today, really quick video, and I want to teach you how to catch bees, how to catch swarms, and more importantly, how to do it the super easy way, and that's with swarm traps. Now, I'll take you around the yard here really quick. I've got some swarm traps set up here, if you get an idea of where I put them. I've got one there on top of the container. The bees are really interested in that one. That one's doing really well. Hasn't caught the swarm this year yet, but it's doing pretty good. The bees have been flying around that now for about two weeks. So they're obviously liking the location. I'll take you over to trap number two on the farm here. Yeah? Trap number two. No bees flying around that one. Maybe they're not that keen. But since I'm walking past you now, look at the bees. On the Cotonia star. The bees can't get enough of that Catonia star. I've uh, got a, I'll say it's now number three, this one. Trap number three. The odd bee flying around that one. Not a lot. But you may think that all your bait traps need to be that high. But they don't need to be. Yeah, the bees do like swarm into stuff quite high up. They used to fly into trees and everything. My rule is set the bait high for about a meter off the floor. So I've got three traps here. Waiting to go out. And the bees are interested in these already, and this, they're a meter off the floor, and bees are flying around here. They are definitely interested in these traps. Now, how to set up a trap? So we've seen the kind of locations I put them in. On top of a table, like this, is good enough, okay? They don't need to be really high. You can tie them up into trees, that can work very well, but it is a hassle because if the swarm goes into one of these hives, four weeks goes by, you haven't clocked it, that box is going to be so heavy, going up a tree is going to be a real pain getting it down. So I like top of short buildings, you know, just stretch your arm out that kind of high, step ladder job just to get up to it, or ideally something like that, that kind of, that kind of height. Now on the farm here, I caught three swarms in the same place one year. Took the swarm off, put an empty bait hive back in, and I caught a swarm again. And that was literally just on top of a chicken hutch with all chickens in the yard running around and sleeping in the shed. So bees don't really care that much about it. And if you watched my last video, I caught a swarm of bees in my shed without trying. Click uh, the top of the screen there to watch that video or see the swarm inside of some empty kit in the shed. So I'm going to talk quick about how to set up the bait type before you put it out there and things to give you the best chance of success. All right, so I've got a trap out here. So I take the roof off. This is just a bit of a clown board thing because I haven't got a proper clown board. Now, that's how mine is looking like. So I've got three frames of foundation there three drawn frames and then more frames of foundation ideally 
this works best with all drawn foundation so something like that you don't want it too black you don't want any honey on you because that's bad for disease uh, transmission or something but something drawn like that with no honey on it nice and clean can be a little bit damaged there doesn't really matter but ideally box full of drawn if you've got it if not like this one I haven't got that many spare drawn left anymore because I've used them up for making colonies but I've kept enough back to make a trap so keep these drawn ones in the middle and bring your foundation up to it always have foundation in your bait hive because otherwise the bees are going to build the comb all over the place and that's going to give you a terrible um, job of sorting that out so something like this the bees will move in really nice and tidy to it and they'll build the frames up like they should but here's the little trick to catch it i've got a bottle here of lemongrass essential oil now that is proper lemongrass oil 100 percent essential oil lemongrass oil and you bait the hive up with that now that's all that i do is i put the tiniest drop just on top of the odd frame and i, and I mean when i say tiniest drop i mean literally one drop on say three or four frames just on the top not on the wax that soaks in and it'll slowly disappear over time but i sense the hive up pretty well and look at the bees around me there's no honey in these boxes they are just smelling the wax and the essential oil and they are just drawn to it so that is an excellent swarm lure for your traps and it's as simple as that that is how you catch free bees nothing complicated about that now the more traps you put out the better chance you've got of catching swarms because i've taken you i've shown you now well including not counting the three that's on this table because the bees are really attracted to this because the, the lemongrass oil is really strong but there's one trap there the bees not really interested in one trap there they're definitely not interested in that but the trap on top of the container they are absolutely loving that trap so it goes to show for some reason the bees are interested in that one and not really any other traps now the ones on the table here they're quite keen around that but that's got, well, it's just been scented up with some essential oil. They, they're loving that. But that's how I would do it. Never rely on one trap per site, because ideally you need a few. Because it just goes to prove you, there's two traps, the bees are not really showing any interest in, they're just not going to swarm into those traps. So chances is, I'm better off moving those traps from there. They're not very keen off on them for some reason. But even though I'm a bee farmer, I'm not an expert on bee behaviour. I'm learning off the bees every year. Ten years into it, I'm still learning off them. So no one's going to know everything. But going back to this really quick, just treat this as a complete hive. Have the clown board there to stop the bees building comb up onto the roof. And that's it. Now you can catch swarms in nukes, but from my experience, bees don't really like swarming into nukes. They like a big space, so a full size hive is gonna be more successful because when the scout bees go out and they come to a cavity or a bait hive, they actually work out a mathematical equation in their, in their tiny heads and they work out the space. Now it's gotta hit a certain space for them to decide this is a good idea, let's swarm into here. So a small nuke, it's not really going to be big enough for them because they're looking for longevity. They want a hive they can swarm into and occupy that for years to come. So that's what they're looking for. So you need to do as uh, someone who need, wants to catch free bees, provide them with the perfect size beehive, ready built, and in the perfect location that they want to swarm into. Now, where to put bait hives? 
one good place is, is around churches and chapels, anything with like a big tower, chances are there's going to be a swarm of bees living in that big chimney somewhere. Around old farms can be a good spot because they've got lots of old slate roofs, maybe cavities in the wall, bees may be living in there. Woodlands, bees like to swarm into trees, so near woodlands is a good spot. And I shouldn't say this really, but where there are other beekeepers. Every beekeeper loses swarms. Now it's a bit of a taboo thing, should you set bait hives by other beekeepers? And I mean, you shouldn't do it really. But just having a trap round the vicinity is not a bad thing. Because say for example, I do lose a swarm, right? And that swarm goes into someone's chimney or someone's cavity wall and that's a pain for them. If that swarm just goes into a trap, I mean, there's no ha there's no harm done. I've lost a swarm, that's my fault, the bees are swarmed. So, you know, d don't make it obvious because you are going to upset some beekeepers if, if you put a, a bait hive in the field next door because you're just making that obvious that you're trying to catch their bees. Um, that's not the best thing to do if it's if you want a good relationship with that beekeeper or bee farmer. But nonetheless, bees around beekeepers, they're going to swarm and potentially you can catch them. Well, that's it for this video. A couple of hints and tips on how to set up swarm traps or bait hives. Let me know in the comments. Have you caught swarms in traps? Have you got any hints and tips you'd like to share with this channel? Put it all in the comments and we'll all have a read of it. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.